What's up, everybody? Cultured World Streams. We're back here again with some more Dragon Age or, or Dragon Age or Dragon Age 2. Um, once again, I'm your host, Stephen or Balthazar, however you like to call me. Um, we're gonna be seeing how long we're gonna be playing for today. I'm not quite sure to be honest. My back has been killing me. Uh, you know, not to get to inside baseball with me or anything, but back has been oh, it's been real bad today. Um, let's see. A letter for Carver. Dear Carver, thank you for your letter. It's so nice to hear that you're still alive. I'm sorry about Bethany. How is your brother taking it? I hope he's alright. Please give him a hug for me and a kiss. Did he find a girl in Kirkwall? Please say he didn't. I think that would break my heart. I always thought he liked me, but I don't know why nothing ever came of it. He looked at me once, that one time at the fair, and I thought I was going to die from happiness. I don't know why he never brought us together. You're a bad friend, Carver. You're coming back to Ferelden, aren't you? I miss all of you. I think I've filled out just a little more since you left. I think your brother would appreciate it. I look so much better in dresses now and even uh, and even more amazing out of them. Uh, I'm living with my aunt in Denerim since Lothering is gone. Write me soon. Your friend, Peaches. Lovely. That's awkward. Um, okay. So what are we going to do here? We're going to... Um... Hmm. How do I want to do this? Oh, brother, more agreeable than most of your company. A few hundred of you, and we'd have taken Lothering, or had a good shot. That's a good dog. Wow, Carver not being a total twat. Wonderful. Uh, okay. So we're gonna go see Sister Patrice, and we're taking you, you, you. This is going to be our group. Um, go to sh go do shepherding wolves. Okay. Ah, uh, Patrice's safe house. Here we go. So we're going to go confront her. Leave nothing. It must be clean with no ties. It. Hawk. It was Hawk, right? From the streets. You took the Canari from the city? Without incident? You know what we faced. Mind your tongue, Ferelden. Please, do speak your mind. Don't string me along. You know that I know. Whether you believe it or not, I wished you no harm. That might have been useful for someone, but still regrettable. A massacre of citizens protecting a slave might have forced the Chantry to doubt appeasement, to see the Kunari for the monsters they are. Perhaps finding the mage was a rushed opportunity. If such a plot existed, I see how it might be disagreeable to you. Your Ketogen killed himself rather than be free. I assumed he wanted to escape, just as I would. My pity is genuine, but they are not like us. If, perhaps, why dance around this lie? I'm standing right here. If a member of the Chantry admitted instigation, I have no doubt it would result in more appeasement. But an accusation from a low town thug you are hardly that important. That's not an insult. It's why I chose you. Rest assured, excuses, real or imagined, are not for your benefit. I won't forget this, sister. Take your coin. Disappear back into Lowtown. Rest assured, I will not make the mistake of looking for help outside the faithful again. The stakes, eternity, are just too high. Oh, 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 you are a horrible human being. Good, I hope so. I'll punch her in her friggin' face. Alright. Um, so gear-wise, what do we got? Uh, quite a bit, quite a bit, quite a bit. What a man, what a man, what a man, what a man, what a man. Uh, Coterie Mage Gloves versus the Neophyte Mage Gloves. We will take this, because we are a blood mage, so we will take that. Okay, 
Uh, and we're gonna go to Lowtown. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leave. And then with that, I think everything's done. The only thing that should be left to do is to. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the uh, the deep roads. Cool. Okay. So we're gonna be finishing up Act One here. Um, and we'll head into the deep roads. We do have to take a specific group. Now, I wanted to take a minute to kind of talk about uh, exactly the group we're going to take and the reason why. So, the group we're going to be taking is Varric, Anders, Carver. The reason why we're taking Varric, Anders, and Carver is because Carver specifically, one of two things will happen. This is where we have a defining moment for Carver as not only a character, but for him throughout the rest of the series. You saw in the beginning that Carver was wearing blue armor. Uh, and that will be explained later. Uh, but basically, if we don't take Carver here, there will be consequences. But if we do take Carver, there will be different consequences. The story that I want is the story in which we take Carver... Um, to the deep roads with us, and you'll kind of see what happens there. So are you ready? It's a long trek. If you have any business you need to wrap up here, you'd better do it now. I'm ready. Let's get started. And let's not waste any more time. We've chosen one of the hidden entrances. The deep roads there will be nice and virginal, ready for a good deflowering. Ha! <laughs> now there's an interesting image. It'll take a week for us to get to the depth we need. There are bound to be leftover dark spawn from the Blight. Big risks, big rewards. Risks, rewards, what could be better? Exactly! Now, before we... Wait, who invited the old woman? I'm sorry to interrupt, Sir Dwarf, but I need to speak with my children. Mother, no. We talked about how important this is. I just want to know one thing. Are you planning on taking Carver with you? I can't leave Carver behind. I need him. I'm going. It'll be fine. It's not fine. You can't both go. What if something will happen to you? You, I understand, wanting to do this. But leave your brother here, I beg you. I said I'm going. Besides... If we're so bloody afraid of Templars, I should go and he should hide. Well, you're not going to be able to take everyone anyhow. You'll need to decide. Okay, so, again, the group we're going to take is going to be this. And Barrack has to go. So it's going to be Anders, Carver, uh, and Varric. Yes. Well, yeah, no, yeah. Okay. Don't go. Don't do this. Don't worry about me, so. I can take care of myself. You'll see. Personal drama over with? Now let's get underway. Been a long time coming, eh, brother? That it has. The deep roads await. All right, and so we head off to the deep roads. Um, this is one of my favorite, I guess, turning points throughout the whole game. Um, because it's really interesting to get back into the deep roads. No, this can't be right. The champion was an apostate who came to Kirkwall to spread subversion against the Chantry, but you claim this wasn't the case. The champion just happened to have dealings with the Canari, joined forces with a known raider, a blood mage, a rebel warden, and for what? Coin? Maybe it's not as simple as you imagine, Seeker. Simple? Do I need to remind you what your friends did? Do I need to tell you how many lives have been lost? How many more will be lost? You cannot sit there and tell me he is innocent. I don't know if innocent is the right word, exactly. He must have known. Somehow the Champion knew what was down there. That's why he wanted to join your expedition. No. None of us knew. If we had, he wouldn't have let his brother step foot into that blighted hole. Is that so? 
Then tell me your version of what happened on this expedition. Well, we entered the deep roads as planned, but we didn't get very far. There's been a collapse. The way forward is blocked. What? Is there some way around? Not that I've been able to find. The side passages are too dangerous. Useless! What am I paying you blighters for? Shit camp! Oh, Bartrand. Problems, brother? Sodding deep roads. Who knows how long it'll take to clear the path. Shall we not try to find a way around instead? Seems like the logical choice. You think I'm an idiot, Merrick? The scouts say the side passages are too dangerous. See? This is why you bring someone like me along. We'll take a look. If we come running back, screaming, you'll know staying put was the right decision. Fine, fine. Find a way around. Just do it quickly. Okay. This is why I left the Wardens. I hate the blighted deep roads. Huh. <laughs> I hate to add to your burdens, my friends, but I fear I must. I fear my boy Sandal wandered off. He's somewhere in those passages right now. I beg you, keep an eye out for him. He just doesn't understand danger like he should. One man out there alone. What are his chances? My boy is sturdier than you think. If he has one of his enchantments with him, he'll survive. He's burned down a house twice by accident. I'm more worried about him getting lost. Oh, my poor boy. When did you last see him? Not a half hour ago. I turned my back to hand out rations and he was gone. He gets so easily distracted. Oh, I should have been harsher with my warnings. We'll bring him back in one piece. Or maybe two. Hard to say, really. Poor Sandal. I can't believe he's done this. Let's move quickly, then. Uh, now, if you'll remember, uh, Sandal killed like 80 quadrillion darkspawn on his own in the last game as the Warden ran up and found him uh, in the Fort Draken Tower. So, the thing to remember about the Deep Roads, it may be like, oh, you know, this is cool, but the reason why this is even cooler as Hawk, uh, the reason why, thank you, Anders, for interrupting me, the reason why this is cooler as Hawk is because you need to remember that Hawk is not a Grey Warden. Hawk is just a regular guy at this point. Yes, he's the, ch oh my goodness. Yes, he's the champion of Kirkwall, but that doesn't mean that he's necessarily equipped to fight Darkspawn. He's not immune to the taint. Um... And he can actually pretty easily, him or any of the people down here, uh, can be pretty easily destroyed by that taint. So, uh, it's very hazardous here, and this is, coming to the Deep Roads is not something that non-Grey Wardens typically do. Okay, so got him. Sweet. Um... Let's see. All right, loot these herlocks. All right, we're gonna head in here and loot these deep mushrooms. Uh, more herlocks. All right. We'll drop fireballs on them. These guys are pretty easy. Uh, you know, nothing nothing to be really worried about. Especially as a mage. As a mage, you can destroy. Easy. Easy peasy. Now, you do want to do a lot of exploring while you're down here. Because there is some good stuff that you can end up picking up. And if you miss it, you miss it. Uh, you won't be coming down to this specific area of the Deep Roads again. You will be coming down to the Deep Roads again, but not here. Um, it's very important that you run around and make sure you're you're holding tab and looking for stuff and checking it all out. 
Uh, okay, so nothing over there. So this is the right way. Alright. Um, and then... I do want to thank everyone for continued support of the blog and continued support of these videos. You know, this is something that um, I hope to be doing as a living here. Yes, Varric, please do. Um... So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty excited to kind of see where this goes. Uh, and we're also going to give him... I guess we can't give him Oathbreaker. Wonderful. Okay. Alright, let's go. Now, what else do we have here? Uh, nothing. There's a door right here. For the most part, this is pretty linear, which is actually really good, because in the deep row, it's pretty easy to get lost and confused. Uh, drop by a flame on him. And we hit him with that. Dead. Uh, and then we need to take this emissary. Which, if you'll remember, they look a lot different than the Herlock emissaries from the last game. But everything did get, you know, in general, a reskin. Alright, loot that. Loot that too. Alright, move on down here. Eh, Varric, do we need you? No. Let's see. Silverite. Very important that we grab this. Want to grab all the crafting resources we can. Make sure we're looting all these chests. Yes, Varric, please take a look at it. Alright, good. So, okay. We need to drop flames immediately. Not that. Oh, 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 that's horrifying. And remember, Carver's no tank, so we got to make sure we're watching his health. This is a mini boss, um, not a hard mini boss by any means, but the adds it summons, especially because we're rolling no tank here, can definitely be pretty dangerous. All right, we do drop this. Hell yeah. Sweet. All right, so I'm going to level myself up here. Myself one strength. More magic. Okay, and as a blood mage, I'm going to have I want to have blood magic. Okay. So, I'm going to turn that on. Uh, and we don't have stone armor, I just realized, because I respect us and forgot to grab it. Oops. Whatever. Not that big a deal. Not that big a deal. Oh, loot this too. Cask heads, portable anvil. That's a pretty sweet thing, if I remember. Pretty sweet hammer, uh, if I remember correctly. But uh, Also, let's take this moment to show off blood dragon armor. Uh, we will put the set on. So that's what that Blood Dragon armor looks like. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Uh, let's see. What do we get here? Plus one to all attributes. 24 health versus... What do these give us? Two willpower. Uh, and then... What did that helmet give us? Or what do the boots give us? 10 mana and 24 attack. Uh, and then the Hood of the Spiral Eye, so we'll probably wear that. But we will wear this Blood Dragon armor, because it is pretty sweet. This all part of your plan. Carver, shut up. We're going to wear this Blood Dragon armor. And then you can kind of uh, glyph this out. The, the best thing with the Blood Dragon armor is that it's... Uh, it's better starting armor for warriors, but I just want to show it off for, uh, kind of our purposes here. Make sure we're dropping fire on them. Sweet. Uh, oh yeah, we got guys over here. Alright, shoot them. Alright, loot that. 
So what does this do right now? Uh, deeper pool of energy. When blood magic is in use, mage cannot be healed. Uh, cannot be used at the same time as healing or consumes health instead of mana. Uh, one health provides two mana. Okay. Yeah. Interesting, because I've never actually done blood magic before, so I'm going to take that uh, and... Isn't that Bo Dan's boy? Lovely. This is familiar. Hello. <laughs> it is. The great warrior stands victorious. I'd really like to know how you managed to kill all of them. Boom. And how did you do that? Not enchantment. Smart boy. Come on. We still oh, well. <laughs> well then. All right. So Varric. Uh, more cunning and more dexterity. Hundred percent. Uh, and then. Yes, rhyming triplet for sure needs the upgrade. And then Carver. Kind of spread that out evenly. Uh, and then you're a vanguard, so we're going to give you control. Actually, no. We're going to upgrade this. Alright, let's go. Uh, this is the way. I don't think we can go down here, anyway. That's This is the way we came. Uh, raw lyrium. Oh, I almost missed that. That would have... Excuse me, Hawk? This is important. This is... This is important. Ooh, Anders leveled up. Okay. Uh, definitely more magic for him. Give him swift justice. Okay. So, we head up here now. Almost missed that raw lyrium. Raw lyrium is very important. Get that. Codex entry. And we'll keep moving in here. Oh, golems. A familiar sight. Enjoy. Enjoy fireballs. All right. And what else we got in here? Oh, more of these guys. Oops. Uh, we gotta go after this emissary for sure. Or is he? Yeah, he is my responsibility. Sweet. All right, we'll drop flame on him. Sweet. Roasted and toasted. Make sure we quick save. And we'll head on. Ah, uh, raw lyrium. Loot that. Oh my goodness. Got more. All right, and. Blast. Drop a firestorm on him. Uh, so we'll hit him with Winter's Grasp. Sweet. Toast him. Alright, we'll make sure we quick save. Um, the best thing about blood magic is that basically, um, Blade of the Red Bird, that'll be good for Isabella. Basically, you can have as many modes active as you want, um, and you won't be using any mana, so you don't really need to drink Lyrium potions. Uh, you just need to make sure that your character is always out of the line of fire. 
Ogre, Ogre. Alright, drop. Firestorm on him. Should be pretty easy though. He's just not even moving. He's just taking his beating. Alright. Okay, I apparently as soon as I moved, he, he had one final act of defiance. Like a dick. Um, this is the right way. I'm gonna be Varric here. Okay, uh, nope. <laughs> couldn't, uh, couldn't help there. Nothing else here? Nothing else here. All right, let's leave. Uh, anything here? Nope, just hot molten lava. Swap over Barrack. All right, take all that. Um, and then to the left here. We got, of course. Why not? <laughs> why? Why wouldn't it be? We'll drop fire on him. Shoot fireballs. Oh, hello. Alright, we got to turn off blood magic. Chug a potion. Alright, then we can... Can't turn it back on yet. Freeze that damn dragon. Alright, uh, we need Clearium. Alright, uh, we'll get everyone in the range. Drop Firestorm. Carver, bro, I need you to not deal with these guys for so long. Just finish them off. I can't click on him. Alright. Eh, pretty easy. Uh, we get lots of, lots of good stuff here, so... We are going to wear this. So we're going to wear these robes. Um, I showed off the blood dragon armor there, but it, it doesn't do anything for us, uh, to be real. So we're going to put on all this, uh, we're gonna put all this on. Um, but yeah, it doesn't, doesn't do anything for us, so there's really no point in, in wearing it, other than to just show it off for a little bit. Um, looks pretty cool, but I mean, you know, we're a mage, we need the mage stuff. All right, let's go. Primeval Tig. Ah, here we go. This goes right where we want it to. Let's go back and tell Bartrand. He'll be so pleased. Bartrand, we found a way around your damned cave-in. It's about time. Let's move out. Holy shit. Is this what you were expecting? I thought. An abandoned dying, something old, but... What is this? How did you even know it was here? Old scavenger tales. After the third blight. A week below the surface, they said. But nobody believed them. Looks like they were right. Make camp here! We need to look around. So we've hit it big, boys! Okay, so I'm just checking a couple audio levels here. Give me one sec. Okay, and let me just make sure that the, uh, because it doesn't look like the, um, what's it called? Uh, the game is probably on Twitch. Let me take care of that real quick. Hang on one sec.
All right, hang on here.